Most people fear death and would do anything to live as long as possible, but what if eternal life wasn't all it's cracked up to be? Ben Grimm's unique physiology granted him extraordinary abilities, including an exceptionally slow aging process, allowing him to live for over 4,000 years. Our story begins in the Baxter Building, where Reed Richards and his father, Nathaniel, are building a time machine. Reed wants to conduct an experiment and visit the future to see what happens to humanity. Are you sure you want to do this? Nathaniel asked his son. I have to know. Their machine was successful and their journey across time begins, arriving in New York City in the year 3012, 1000 years into the future. Reed sent one of his modified Herbots to explore the city and report back. The Herbot should be able to access... Oh, that's interesting. Their city map program shows something to the north we've got to see. Even though the future looks peaceful, there was an attack on the Baxter building, the Kree Empire, or what's left of it at least, attacked one of the buildings and the Fantastic Four confronted them. While the members have varied over decades, two of them have been constant in the face of passing centuries, Franklin Richards and Benjamin Grimm. Okay, you shape-shifting troublemakers, it's clobbering time. What are you smiling at, kiddo? Ben asked Franklin. It's been a thousand years and I never get tired of hearing that. The thing's aging process is unique. He only ages in his human form and with the help of a special serum, he can revert to his human form for approximately one week every year. We need to go further, Reed told his father. In the year 4012, the thing looked noticeably older and his memory was getting worse. He prepared a speech for the kids of the Future Foundation. Maybe I should tell you anything is possible, but you already know that, don't you? I could tell you to go change the world, but you already are very special boys and girls, which only leaves me with one thing I can say. Enjoy it. Congratulations to all of you, the graduation class of the Future Foundation. Should we go home? Nathaniel asked his son. No, let's go further. 3,000 years into the future, New York looks very different and Ben is very old. The last time he had a hamburger was 1,500 years ago. All the food was replaced with some kind of super processed jelly. Most of his family and friends have died a long time ago, and only the statues built in their names remained. Franklin Richards was the only one still alive because he was immortal, but he was called away from Earth, leaving Ben wishing he would one day return home. Let's go even further, Reed shouted. Now 4,000 years into the future, Ben had finally died, and Franklin returned to Earth to pay his respects. Goodbye Uncle Ben, I will miss you dearly. As the father and son watched this tragic moment take place, Reed finally agreed to return home. The moment he stepped out of the machine, he went straight to the kitchen and took two beers. So, big fight, huh? Two modern day gladiators set to pummel each other to bloody bits, so heck yeah. Reed gives Ben one beer and asks if he could join and watch the fight. You really gonna stick around? Ben asked Reed. You're sure you don't need to go build some kind of anti-doomsday thingy? I'm good, Ben. I've missed you too, Stretch. 